Hi, welcome to my presentation. This is Jia Hanli. I'm going to introduce my smart assistant, which is safety in library. The earlier study showed the lack of confidence and excessive laxity in COVID security by different groups of student users within the library. Therefore, the smart assistant is designed to provide users in the library with visual data analysis on social complements within the facility, as well as to allow users to access to real-time seat usage on their devices. Regarding the reflection on the discussion form, the software before was a bit complicated and not clear in the use process, which would make user pay time to learn and adapt. At the same time, it does not bring timely feedback to users, which may cause them to lose interest. I think it debates my original purpose, which is to simplify the checking process and visualize the security index. Therefore, in the subsequent prototyping, I removed the unnecessary interface and made a lot of adjustment and improvement on the screen. The whole intelligent assistant is divided into two parts, mobile mode and pad mode. The pad will be placed at the entrance lobby to ensure that everyone can check in and view the security information about which area are the most safe and which area are the most empty. As the advantage and design features of mobile mode are convenience, reduce crawling, and QR code scanning links to reduce the download process. Both pad and mobile modes use a face recognition system to alert users who do not follow the security rules. My design process, I was troubled by how to verify that each user was strictly following the security rules. The approach I used was a small questionnaire to test users. Do you wear a mask? Do you follow the so social distance? But, but after a few times, users' self-discipline proved to be un uncontrollable. So I finally chose to for a face recognition system. Pad and phones have cameras that detect if the security are followed when the user check in. If not, a warning pops up. In general, our safety in library provides COVID-19 live news and checking button on the home page. If the system finds that the user is not wearing a mask after completing the check-in, a warning will be shown. The following page shows the number of mask areas in each area, the number of seats left, and the reserved seats. Users can choose their preferred seats by referring the different safety index of the four. It is worth mentioning that when clicking the button at the bottom of the pay homepage in pad mode, a QR code for mobile mode will appear. Users do not have to download the software again. They just need to scan it with a camera. There were a lot of suggestions from my group members about the group discussion in week 10. For example, change the back button setting in mobile mode. Before that, it was important how the back button was set up because two pages would interact to the same page. Therefore, I made the same page twice for both user journey. This way, there will be not be a situation which you click into B in A but return into the sick screen. Also, they pointed out a lot of redundancy, such as the original quick questionnaire. Then come to the user test. Regarding the pad mode, the three user testers made the following comments that uh, wish there were new, more new links and options to choose, choose from, and the color are too single. Mobile mode runtime test. Let's see the user test. The suggestion from the user uh, were 
I wish there were less navigation options so that I could find the booking, booking button faster, and some of the buttons are too dark to see. Overall, I think in this assessment, I realize that the importance of design assumption and finding a solution to the problem. I will continue to improve my smart assistant and hope that one day it can really help uh, others. Thank you.